Hello, my name's Margaret Pierce, and I'd like to share a few thoughts from God's Word with you today. But before I do that, I'd like to ask you a question. Is there anything that you're really passionate about? For some people, it's football. For other people, it might be um, art or music or cooking. For me, it's perfume. I love perfume. I love the idea of taking ingredients and blending them together and building up layers and layers of, of different fragrances till at the end you've got something that's really unique. Now in the Old Testament, God gave us the recipe for a very special perfume. And I'm going to read about that now and it's from Exodus chapter 30, verses 34 to 37. Then the Lord said to Moses, Take fragrant spices, gum resin, onica and galbanum, and pure frankincense, all in equal amounts, and make a fragrant blend of incense, the work of a perfumer. Grind some of it to a powder and place it in front of the testimony in the tent of meeting where I will meet with you. It shall be most holy to you. Do not make any incense with this formula for yourselves. Consider it holy to the Lord. Whoever makes any like it to enjoy its fragrance must be cut off from the people. So this fragrance comes with a warning. Because it was consecrated, separated to God and used only for worship purposes. The thing about that is that it makes it instantly recognisable. Anyone smelling that perfume would know exactly where it was and what it was for. Now, if we turn to the New Testament and go to 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 14 and going into 15, the Apostle Paul writes this. Thanks be to God, who always leads us in triumphal procession in Christ, and through us spreads everywhere the fragrance of the knowledge of him, for we are to God the aroma of Christ. The Passion Translation says it slightly different. God always makes his grace visible in Christ, who includes us as partners of his endless triumph through our yielded lives to spread the fragrance of the knowledge of God everywhere we go, we have become the unmistakable aroma of the victory of the Anointed One to God. Such an amazing thing for Paul to write. We have become the unmistakable aroma of Christ. I'd like you today to remember and, and think about the fact that we are set apart for God and we carry with us the fragrance to make a difference in our world by spreading the knowledge of God to everyone we meet and by displaying the love of God in every circumstance we come across. We are becoming the unmistakable aroma of God. Can we just pray together? Thank you, Lord, for the grace you have given to each one of us to be used by you to spread the knowledge of God. Enable us today to allow the fragrance of Jesus to emanate from us and permeate every situation we encounter. In Jesus' name. Amen.